Hello, welcome to the channel. East Florida Explorer here. I was just heading to Jacksonville and came across this and thought, hey, check it out. It looks old. Join me. Walking in the front gates here. Nice old oak tree. Right at the beginning of the cemetery. And there looks like there's some older graves right in the middle, so I'm gonna check that out first. Looks like the first kind of old row here on the cemetery. And they're all hearts. Maud Yelvington, 1906 to 1909. Oh, they must all be baby graves. Wow. Baby girl Yelvington. And they're all Yelvington family. Wow. J.C. Yelvington, 1920 to 1923. So yeah, this is the Yelvington family. George Yelvington, 1880 to 1957. In loving memory, Velma V. Pellisier Hein, 1942 to 1986. Wow, already in this cemetery, some of the same names I see in a lot of the other cemeteries spread across Flagler and Volusia County, Alachua. Interesting. Got mother, Thelma McCarthy, Earl, 1908 to 1997. Yeah, so I guess the cemetery really isn't as old as I thought. Not too, too old. William Perry White, who's part of the United States Merchant Marines. 1908 to 1967. Couple more older graves in front of me. Could be the original ones. Yeah, here's some smaller sized graves. Clara, Ela, Ready, 1854 to 1931. I'm guessing that's what that says. It's a little dark, hard to see. Wow, these are all pretty small graves. Jesse Causey, born in 1890 and died in 1933. Wow. And here's a row right up here. These all look really old as well. Elizabeth Reddy, born 1875 and died in 1884. Wow. So she wasn't that old. Same with this one, Howard Reddy and Clara Reddy. She doesn't have a death date. 1914. But nothing else. Another Causey family died in 1919. Under this holly tree here. Just got really shady.
emergency. William Oswill, 1921. Oh, sounds like we've got a fire truck or something. And this uh, cemetery goes out pretty far back here. Is this fire truck coming? No? Sound like something happened down the road. Kind of in the middle of the cemetery, towards the back, maybe. Look at these trees. All these oaks with the Spanish moss hanging. Really nice looking. Couple family plots in here. The Holtzman family. It looks like their plot is covered up with uh, these huge azalea bushes. Oh, there's got two graves right in here. Hard to see. Looks like mother died in 1959 and died in 1965 on this one Lucille Hosman really hard to see that one and right next to the side over here I think there's another family plot check it out real quick there's not many graves here Let's see what this says the Ekman the Ekman family plot or this huge oak tree right in the middle. Oh, there's more. What's this? Cook. Cook family. Wow, that's crazy because I don't even really see any graves. Just one. And their their name's not even Ekman or Cook. Lorraine Charlie Wickline, 1903. 1967 Woo! it is hot somebody turn on the furnace in Florida today or for the whole last week or two Wow making my way back out to the entrance gate not many um, graves in the cemetery it's a real small one right off of uh, I believe I'm on County Road 13 in St. John's County but there's a couple of graves lining the fence as well but they look very new but thanks for joining me here at the Orangedale Cemetery in St. John's County Florida I'll see you guys next time <laughs>